And now, after looking at Max, uh, Pure Data, or PD is the abbreviation, is a program which looks quite similar to that. And you'll see here, uh, it's a real-time graphic graphical programming environment for audio, video, and graphical processing, very similar to Max MSP Jitter, uh, developed by Miller Puckett, who also developed Max at, at Ericom. So this is free, and you can download it here for Linux, uh, Windows, or Mac operating systems. So it's very versatile, and it really um, is uh, a very powerful program. I would recommend probably this one more than some of the other ones to start out with. This will give you examples of everything we've done in this class. You'll be able to uh, pull up tutorials and things in Pure Data to demonstrate those and to build and, and edit and customize your own uh, throughout this program. So a great website here. Let me also just refer you to, in YouTube, there are great tutorials on this, uh, which have been done by a number of people. And if you just do a search for Pure Data and, and look at some of these tutorials, I would recommend going through those because you could learn this very quickly uh, and it takes you through just a lot of the different things you can do with Pure Data. And there are scores of tutorials that people have done <coughs> on Pure Data here, so, and they're very helpful. So, uh, and pretty much all these programs, you can probably find tutorials on YouTube for, uh, for even for Macs. There are quite a few there as well. So let's now go over to Pure Data and take a look at it. <coughs> so when we take a look at PD, we get similarly like, like to the Mac screen, we get our sort of uh, PD here. This version is called PD Extended, which you is, has a few more uh, externals in it. Uh, this is the one that I've downloaded. Uh, when you download that, you can choose between pure P uh, data or the PD Extended. So I uh, would recommend getting the Extended to give you a few more different externals on that. So if we open up uh, some objects here, you'll see under the documents for that, we have the manual. <coughs> we have some control examples, audio, data, structure, just a number of things. So if we just go under audio, just to kind of quickly uh, give you some information as to what they, how these things look like, uh, maybe we'll just take a look at frequency modulation, since we've been doing that uh, in Max. <coughs> so under frequency modulation, you see both the, the patch here, which looks very similar to a Max patch, and then the text uh, describing what's going on here. So all I've got to do here on this one is to pull up my output <coughs> to a certain level. And then here again, we have our carrier frequency. So if I just click and drag on these number boxes and you see it coming into the audio range <coughs> and let's get uh, maybe up around 300 or something, 300 Hertz. <coughs> That's close enough. Uh, maybe get something we can divide. All right, <coughs> so remember on our modulation frequencies, <coughs> this is gonna give us a uh, simple FM so if we stay underneath the modulating frequency, remember if it's below hearing range, so let me pull up this maybe three times per second, and then we open up the modulation index, if you remember that formula, this is gonna be determined by the amplitude of our control oscillator. So if I start to increase the amplitude of this control oscillator, you start to now hear a vibrato, because remember in the simple FM, a below hearing range, we start to hear a slow frequency modulation happening here. So this number is being sent into an oscillator. This number is being sent into the amplitude for that oscillator, which is then being sent into, being added to <coughs> this number, uh, the carrier frequency uh, going into this, which goes into this oscillator. So that is sort of our simple, uh, or it could be simple or complex. If this frequency, goes above 20 hertz, remember, then we get into complex where we start to create sidebands. So I can expand this from a vibrato to something wider by increasing the control oscillator frequency. Now if I click this little bang button, what this is going to do is just going to show you over here what the wave looks like. So if I click that, it will just show you how many waveforms per second are going on here. If I increase this we start to see our vibrato turns into glissando because we have more amplitude in our control oscillator. If I increase the frequency of this, the rate of this, click a bang again, you'll see it, it moves more times per second. <clears throat> so once I move this into a higher frequency, it's going to go into complex FM and then I'll start to produce sidebands. So now we're starting to hear, we can no longer hear the individual 
vibrato, we start to hear the, these other pitches being created. And remember, the modulation index, by moving that, I will then be moving the, here again, the amplitude of the control oscillator. But what it will result in, in complex FM, is a change in the frequency of the sidebands. Back to simple FM. Change, lower the carrier. Slow it down even further. Then hit mute and we're off. So you can see a very simple patch. So in order to create that, you just unlock the patch, and this is with a command E in PD, that allows you to unlock the patch, and then you can move these around just like you can match, max. Uh, very simple to, to add objects. I want to add a new object box, for example. Uh, there's my object box. Place it there. Then you would uh, say if I want to type in the oscillator uh, there. And then we have, there's our oscillator box. And then to uh, create a number box, we patch it into that and then have the oscillator go into that. So we could, we could build this up very easily uh, just by coming up to our our put object and pull down to an object or a message box or a number box. So you can see here we don't have quite as many kind of graphic uh, visuals to help us out as we need in Max, but still pretty much a lot of the same functions are available here. It doesn't take that much uh, time to learn this. So this is just a <clears throat> one example of a simple uh, object, uh, frequency modulation object uh, built in uh, PD. Uh, here again, you can do video with this, you can do uh, just simple MIDI objects, so forth. So uh, PD is one that I would recommend you take a look at because it's free and it really gives you a lot of the power of Max. And if you really get interested in and maybe learning how to use PD and want to go to Max, then I, I would suggest jumping over to that. So that's pure data. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.